name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all the world. Yes, I bear witness that regardless to land or label or language, there is but one God. Yes, sir. Right. Right. It makes no difference which name you call him by. That's right, sir. There is but one God. That's right. It makes no difference if you call on him in Chinese or Japanese or Korean or Zulu or Swahili or Kosa. It makes no difference if you call on him in Hebrew or in Arabic or in Aramaic. God is one. Yes, right. His universe is one. Yes, the creation is one. Yes, right. His people is actually one people. Yes, right. And it makes no difference the devil is one also. <laughs> and it makes no difference if you call him in one language by one name or in another language by another name. The white man is the devil. I greet you. I don't want to keep you long today, but there are so many things that are happening in the news today, in the world today. Every time we turn on our radio or our television, we find that there are reports of wars and rumors of war, earthquakes in diverse places, AIDS and disease and pestilence all over the face of the planet Earth. Yes, and today, as young men, you must beware that the white man is no doubt since he has put drugs in the community and the drugs are not killing you off fast enough. Oh, yeah. Since he has put a liquor store on almost every corner and in the middle of the block and the alcohol in the white man is not killing you off fast enough. And since he has put a gun in the hand of every young black man that wants a gun and an Uzi and everything else, and since it's not killing you off fast enough, he might now set up a draft system to draft you in an unjust and an unfair war to go and fight people for him and you not have any justice here in America where you have fought and struggled for the past 400 years. If he calls you, just say no. If he says that we need you, we need you in Iraq, just say no. If he calls you to Saudi Arabia, just say no. If he calls you to Grenada again, or if he's now planning on Fidel Castro in Cuba, Oh, yes, it's true. 
Black man must take his rightful place back again on the face of the planet where he's a free, proud, and productive black man, where he is free and independent, a man among men, and a man growing from boyhood to manhood to godhood. That's the only way she's going to respect us. She cannot respect a male who just has the genitalia of male, but she and the gender of male, but she can only respect a man who reflects God in his life. That's the only way she can submit to the powers and laws of God, and the only way you can submit to the power and law of God is when we see that coming from her. Our brother, Brother Yusuf Salam, and our other brothers now are sitting in a dungeon somewhere, in a jail cell somewhere. Because a white woman has been, they say, raped. We're not used to white women being raped. We're used to white women just giving it up. That's the way she is. We missed our lecture last week, but I must share it with you this week to let you know that we mean it just as much this week as we did last week. Our subject last week was the white woman is a bitch, a two-legged dog. That's what she is. A white woman in Central Park, there for cheap thrills and cheap feels in the midnight hour with some sneakers on, talking about she was jogging. <laughs> we know better than that. The white woman has always done that. On the plantation, she would get Big Sambo and make Big Sambo do with her what she wanted Big Sambo to do. And then she would tell old Big Sambo if Big Sambo got too scared to come back again and get Big Sambo lynched. This book is only 100 years of lynching from newspaper articles all across the country. But it's a little book. Volumes of this book could be written because we have been murdered and maimed and lynched by the white man since we've been here in the hells of North America. And so the scripture speaks of a day as we spoke of just in a word from last week. Come on, When a people would come whose only desire would be to lay this oppressive nation yes, low. Yes, that a people would come from a distant land. Yes, sir. It might be talking about us because yes, we're from a distant land. Yes, right. and they would snatch their babies from their arms and dash their white babies' heads against the rocks. Yes, sir. It talks about how their women would be overcome and how their women would be destroyed. And so I say that we stand firmly with our brothers in the so-called Central Park Joggers case. We stand with them. We don't stand with the white woman. We don't stand with the white men. And actually, there is no court that should try a black woman or a black man in white America. We can receive no justice in the courtroom of the white man. The white man's system is set up against us. He will always set it up in a way where he will come out on top. And so I just like the idea that she was possibly, I don't know who did it, I don't believe our brothers did it, but the fact that somebody beat her upside her head with a pipe, I feel all right about that. I don't care what you think about that. I feel all right about that. You say, well, that's not the thing to say. You just don't say things like that in this time. I'm glad whoever beat her with the pipe. No good devil. They used her for sympathy in the court. Some mangy, nasty, disease carrying, two legged dog, bitch beast that they bring in the courtroom. What sympathy can I have for her? This book talks of many times when they lynched us and we haven't done nothing to the white woman. How they would take us out of the courtroom and lynch us. Take us out of the jailhouse and lynch us. Take us from the sheriff and lynch us over a white woman. And so now they want to lynch Brother Yusuf Salam and lynch the other brother. 
We said last week is nothing but the Scottsboro case all over again. So it smells of Emmett Till, and the viciousness of it is the same as of Emmett Till. The substance and the circumstances surrounding it, they're not the same. Go ahead. I feel nothing when white people get what they are doing. The Bible says that there would come a time when all of the sins of their fathers and mothers would be visited upon them for generations in the future. The only problem with the Central Park Joggers case is that the dog didn't die in the park. That's the only thing. A bitch is a two is a four-legged dog no, that sniffs around under the tails of other dogs, trying to find a thrill in dog dump. <laughs> Central Park is dog dump. 42nd Street is dog dump. New York City is dog dump. Yes, it is. So I can't have any feelings for this white woman. That's right. That's right. I, my feelings are for her. That's right. I, I just don't have that much feeling. That's right. I'm so consumed with feeling for the black woman. That's right. I feel for the one of wrong. Running around, 
coughing on a white nicotine weed that Dr. Francis Cress Welsing says resembles the white male sex heart. Yeah. Yeah. You're running around with this in your mouth. You better watch what you're putting in your mouth. Somebody call you to question about that thing. Puffing on this thing. Fire on one end of the cigarette and a fool on the other end. And you come out this nation. Hell, it's going to be nation time and you can't even recognize that it's time to put the poison nicotine in. Right. 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 Then the rest are drinking all the time. Yes. I have to have my glass of wine. Yes. What did you see drinking wine, fool? You saw the white man drinking wine. Well, the wine, it's, it's, it's good for the digestion. And a little bit of scotch and Harvey's Bristol cream. <laughs> you just the white man's nigga in 1990 with a new haircut and a new t-shirt and a kinky cloth, whatever it is. You have to clean up from this. Nation time, but you snorting cocaine. Just anybody. That's right. 
There are some leaders, even Muslim leaders, yes, sir. who say we should join the United States military. Yes, That's what they say. Yes, yes, there are some Muslim leaders yeah. who say if America is attacked by a Muslim country or an African country, that they would fight on the side of America against an African country or an African nation or a Muslim nation. Right. There are some Muslim leaders who say if you won't carry the American flag, I'll carry it myself. That's right. They got some Muslim leaders like that. And that's what they call them anyway. No, you got to say, God damn, Uncle Sam. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ain't your uncle no way. That's right. You his dad. I cannot go into this war, brothers and sisters. That's right. That's right. I have to say sisters too. That's right. That's they used right. to just grab you. Now they're grabbing right. her too. That's right. When they call you, you got to let them know where you stay. That's right. You got to let them know that if you grab me, I believe you are my enemy. That's right. You got to tell them. That's right. America is my enemy. That's right. That's right. Tell them I'm a Muslim. That's right. My religion forbids me to go and join in an unjust war. That's right. That's right. You say what? Well, in violation of God's law and God's word. You got to know what to say to them. That's right. In fact, you got to know what to do if you are stopped or arrested by these devils. That's right. You can't run off in the mouth when the devil gets you. That's right. You shut your mouth. That's right. You're a soldier. Right. We are at war. Right. We are a captured right. nation. Right. Right. We have been held in captivity for 400 years right. in fulfillment of the prophecy of the Bible that we would be in this condition. Right. Genesis, the 15th chapter, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th verse. Right. 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 And when you are right. captured by your enemy, behind enemy lines, right. you only give name, rank, and serial. What do you give? Name, rank, and serial. That's your driver's license at best. That's right. If you ain't got that, that's your dog tag. If you don't have that, it's your ID card. That's right. Your New York ID card. Your Jersey ID card. That's your name breaking serial. That's right. Well, what about so and so? We're gonna kill you, buddy. We're gonna put you away, buddy, for life. You're really facing something serious here, guy. And they turn the lights on your jump. Let me have your while, Sergeant. <laughs> you don't say nothing to this guy. Right. 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 Nothing. Right. Say, I'd like to see my attorney. That's right. Right. Say, we're going to lock you up and keep you there. We're not going to feed you. We're not going to give you no phone call. We're not going to do nothing. You say, come on with it. That's right. That's right. Lock me up. That's right. I'm not making no statement on tape. I'm not making no statement on video. I'm not signing a cut there. What do I say, God damn it? And once you sign it, God has damn it. That's right. That's right. That's right. You understand? Yes, sir. When you are stopped, when the devil approaches you and puts them with the funny sirens they got in the air. As soon as you hear that thing and see the light, if it's night, you drive it or whatever. If you can turn your light on in your car before they get out, you turn the light on in your car. Let them see inside of your car. That means you got to be clean. You can't have nothing right. in your car you don't want them to see. Right. 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 All right? Put your hands on the steering wheel That's so the right. beast can see your hands. That's right. When he approaches, they're nervous. Yes. They scatter of you. That's right. Because they know that the day is coming when you're going to wake up. They know the day is coming when you're going to do what you're supposed to do. They thought Central Park was that. They thought that we had organized tight squads already. It was taking them out one by one with the pipe squad. Well, there will come a time when the pipe squad will rise. Huh? All kind of squads. We're going to make up. For what has been done That's right. by God's command, That's right. not by mine. That's right. Nobody will stand and give you orders. That's right. 
you have orders coming from a commander inside right. of you. Right. And you'll know when to move and you'll know what to do. That's right. And you'll kill everything white that ain't right that's in sight. Right. 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 Yes, you will. That day is coming. Put your hands in clear view. The devil is nervous. Normally they pull their guns. That's right. But they scared right. of you. That's right. Normally they come with many troops. That's right. Sometimes they call for backup before they even stop. That's right. They won't get out. But they scared of you. That's right. You say, sir, see your driver's license. You gotta handle this is a savage. That's right. That's right. That's right. This is a savage. So you gotta say to him, sir, my driver's license in my coat pocket or in my jacket pocket or my driver's license or in my hip pocket, my back pocket. My driver's license or in the glove compartment. May I get it, sir? That ain't no punk. That's a soldier talking to another soldier behind enemy lines and for the time being, the enemy soldier has the upper hand. Has the upper hand. At the time. Right. And so you say it's in the glove compartment. I'll have to reach in the glove compartment and get it. I have no weapons in the glove compartment. And you slowly reach to open the glove compartment. You open the glove compartment. He's still scared. That's right. I will have to reach in the glove compartment to get my identification and the registration. There is no weapon, I remind you. That's right in the glove compartment. Would you shine your light in the glove compartment before I reach in the glove compartment? The devil shines his light. You reach in slow. Take it out. Get your license. Name, rank, and serial number. You give it to him. We have reason to suspect that you've been involved in a rape in Central Park. We have reason to believe that you so and so, so and so and such and such. Don't you start talking. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. You don't say nothing. That's right. Because when he reads you Miranda, is that what they call it? Yes, sir. You got a right to remain silent, buddy. Anything you say might be held against you in the corner walls. That cracker. And anything you don't say might be held against you. Right. So you know anything you say is going to be held against you. You don't say nothing. That's right. When they arrested me, about 80 to 90, maybe 100 FBI, GBI, and some other alphabets I hadn't even heard of came out of the trees, out of the woods, out of park vans, cars from behind the building, automatic weapons, the clicking of weapons. All you could hear was the staccato of guns clicking. In the atmosphere. <laughs> All over the place. Yes, sir. Scared to death. Yes, sir. The main one almost fell flat on his face, running. <laughs> FBI, FBI, hands in the air. Get your hands in the air. <laughs> That's the way it comes. You gotta be in, you gotta be cool. Right. Calm and collect. You make the wrong move and they fill you with holes like Swiss cheese. Right. So I stood there. First, just to be defiant, I just didn't put my hands in the air. And this was just wearing this cracker. I'll put your face in, put your face in the air. I mean, they just go off. Now slowly, I raised my hand. I guess he almost said, damn. <laughs> I have to shoot this nigga if he didn't put his hands in. They might do it. But then you don't give up no information on nothing. Where you coming from? Sir, am I under arrest? Ma'am, am I under arrest? Where you going? Am I under arrest? If they say no, Say, sir, if I'm not under arrest, I'm not under obligation to answer any questions for you. I'd like to have my identification. I'd like to have my identification and be on my way. If he says you're under arrest, you say, sir, what is the charge? 
You were charged with so and so and such and such. You want to talk about it, buddy? I'd like to see my attorney. If you're a minor, you say, I want to see my parents and my attorney. That's right. Period. You keep saying that over and over and over. They'll try you every way they can. You tell them nothing. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Right. 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 I'm not telling you to go out and beat white women in the head with pipes, but if you beat them in the head with the pipe, don't say nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> if you kill them and leave them dead in the park, I'm not go and kill them and leave them dead in the park, but it's no more than what they've done to us. And if you kill them and leave them in the park, don't say nothing. <laughs> don't give up no information. Right. Nothing. Right. Right. Then when they do their report, they'll do what they call creative report. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. They start lying. Yes, sir. Yeah. But don't you give them nothing that they can use right. against you. Right. Right. Why am I doing this? I want to cover this and cover this war back and forth between the two because somebody has to talk to you on this. Somebody trains them on how to come after you. Somebody got to train you on how to deal with them when they come. You may not be at war but you definitely in there. You just the only one ain't fighting. Your enemy is fighting you every day and every way. He wants to take as many young men off the streets as he can. And now he's giving big time. Yes, sir. Thirty. If you get twenty years now, that's called short time. That's right. Black man get fifteen or twenty years, he's happy now. Because they give him thirty. 40 years. Right. Triple life. That's what they get. That's right. Federal time under the new citizen guidelines. Mm. And these state institutions are terrible That's right. on the inside. Yes, sir. That's what's happening at Rikers. Right. The conditions at Rikers. Right. And the disposition of the minds of those who are over them at Rikers. That's right. Right. Even one of their commissioners was talking about yes, recently in the news. Pointing to the condition in Rikers and putting the blame partially on them where it belongs. Yes, sir. Remember, sisters and brothers, you are soldiers. You are a captive nation or a captured right. nation that has been held here for the past 400 That's years right. against your will. That's you are right. behind enemy lines. That's right, sir. I don't care how beautiful Times Square looks. That's right. You behind any line. That's right. I don't care how the Great American Adventure Park looks, yes, or whatever they call the park where you go and ride on the Great super man. duper, yeah, the adventure. super duper twister mister and Great all that man. stuff. Great I don't care how it looks. You are behind That's any right. line. Right. Right. Your babies will be born behind right. enemy lines. Right. Right. You are still in captivity. Right. You have been robbed of your name, your language, your everything, and you wear that of somebody else's. That's right. Yes, sir. It's no time to play games. That's right. I can't play the game of leadership. No, sir. That's right. I can't get you to come and follow me because I'm building myself up as some kind of leader. Yes, unless I'm going to take you to the real leader. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Come on. Go ahead. You understand? Yes, sir. You can't decide to go and jump with anybody and everybody just because you know that we need leadership today when you know who you should be with. That's right. You say, well, I don't like the way the thing is set up. I don't, much of whatever you don't like with the nation of Islam, you're the missing link. That's right. Whenever you come and bring what you have and bring others like you, we got the right teaching. Right. We got the right teacher. Right. We got the right program. Right. Nobody can touch the Honorable Minister Lewis. That's right. Oh, put them all together, and none of them can touch them. Or all of them together, can. And since they can't touch 
this. Go ahead. Since they can't touch this. That's right. And if those leaders, to borrow from Flav, if those leaders were honest, they would tell you, I can't do nothing for you, man. You know, I tried all I can. But I can't do nothing for you, man. I can't do nothing for you, sister. That's what I have to tell you. I can't do nothing for you. Except by Allah's grace, Allah's guidance, and by permission and the guidance of the guide that he has put in our midst. Yes, the Honorable Minister Louis yes. Yes. I say to you many times, those of you who have been coming, if we would have gotten behind Garvey, we would be much closer to freedom That's today. Right. 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 But we found something else to do. We didn't like this, we didn't like that, yeah. we picked at this, we yeah. picked at that, right. so we didn't get with God. Right. I know we would have been free if we would all throw down with that turn. Right. I like that program. Right. Yeah. That had them standing all apart. Right. 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 That had a good program. Right. And if we would have threw down with that, yeah. we'd be all over now. Right. All over. But Nat Turner was not supported. Nat Turner was turned in by our own. That's right. right. <coughs> we never throw down with the leader of our day. We didn't knock in with Malcolm. Come on. Malcolm is dead and gone. That's right. His memory lives on. Yes, sir. His legacy lives on. The lessons that he left for us to learn from, they live on. Yes, sir. But Malcolm is gone. I was with, it was a rare occasion for me with his wife just the other day. It wasn't like we really had a total sit down discussion, but I just felt good about the few moments. Yes, sir. Because it is something that, were it not for Allah, could not have been possible even for those few seconds That's right. That's right. for us to take a picture together or for me to have my arm around her to some degree walking in her husband's footsteps today yes. and connected to something that I am sure she still after 25 years holds some measure of pain yes. as a result of what she perceives or has misperceived however it is but the point that I'm making here is if we would have locked in with Malcolm as he was trying every way he could right. to point us to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, right. we would be free That's right. and much farther along the way. That's right. Today, That's right. you can't make the same mistake. That's right. Farrakhan is the man. That's right. That's How right. do we argue with that? That's right. That's right. He outraps the rappers. That's right. He outsings the singers. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. In terms of action, yes. he outacts the actors. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. And he's stronger than the athletes. That's right. He's wiser than the leaders that are out That's there. That's right. He has a track record of many decades of work, That's right. and he has not betrayed us anywhere along the way, nor has he deviated anywhere along the way. All of it has been used to make him a bigger and a greater and a stronger man right. in our midst. How do you get around him? Come on, brother. Good question. You, you think of that. Think about that for a second or two. We don't automatically take the side of the Arabs in the Gulf, and we want you to understand that. First of all, we understand that it was the Arabs who broke our backs during the Arab slave trade that weakened us for the American white man and European slave trade. And the one who calls himself an Arab today is not the true Arab. He's an imposter That's perpetrating right. the Arab. You are the real Arab. Right. He's a European, a Johnny come lately, right. that came to that area and controls our oil and our wealth in that part of the world today. But you are the real Arab. You are the real Hebrew. Not that European 
that has taken over that area and set up an illegal, illegitimate nation called Israel. That's right. That's right. That's right. We don't automatically take their position, but when it comes to an enemy against America, we have to take the side of the enemy that is fighting America. That's right. And then we settle our differences with that enemy later on. That's right. But the Bible says, God speaking, I will give nations right. for your eyes. Right. He will commit whole nations to war right. just to weaken powers that be right. so that we will ultimately, we who are his chosen, will ultimately be in position yes, to take our divine role and responsibility yes, over that he has ordained for us. Yes, so he pits enemies of ours, one enemy, a small or a little enemy against a big enemy. He'll pit big enemies against big enemies. Yes, but I want to say this. America, I do not believe, can win the war That's right. against Iraq. You can tell America knows that she can't win the war. He is literally Iraq. And America is deploying soldiers. This, what's this guy's name? George. You know George. George is at Kenny Bump, uh, Kenny, Kenny Bump Court. Does that sound kind of funny? This guy's at Kenny Bump Court. It just sounds kind of sweet. <laughs> giving orders from Kenny Buckport. <laughs> and he's deploying troops day and night. Right. All of this overkill. Yeah. Yeah. But we've seen this before. That's right. That's right. What about the troop buildup for Vietnam? Yeah. Come on. Did he win Vietnam? No. Did he leave in honor or shame and disgrace? <laughs> France went up against little Vietnam. Did France win? No, England went up against little Vietnam. Did England win? No. no. Because the Vietnamese had a fierce determination right. to defeat this white That's man. Right, right, right. The Vietnamese built underground yes, tunnels right. like ants. Right. Yes, and they conducted their activities underground. That's right. yeah. White man be walking the GI yeah. with his uniform all on top of the ground. <laughs> Viet Cong in a hole underground, hear him walking on top, walk and crawl through the hole, yes, wait for him to get to the hole and grab him and snatch him down in them yes, holes and he never come back up again yes, until sir. they sent him back up so mutilated yes, and yes. so messed up until it psychologically would wipe his other uh, comrades in the, that particular platoon or battalion or company or whatever it was, wipe them out psychologically. That's, right. That's the way the Viet Cong fought this cracker. Yeah. That's the way you're going to fight him one day. Right. War is coming in this country. That's right. War is coming in this country where the color of your skin will be your uniform. That's right. It's definitely coming in this country. And we are not going to lose. Because God is on our side and will create the circumstances to give us the advantage over our enemies. Let me say this. You cannot fight an enemy at home the way you fight an enemy abroad. And I'll be through in a few minutes. Come on, bro. America can't fight us at home the way America would fight Saddam Hussein in Iraq, or Ho Chi Minh at that time in Vietnam. You just can't fight an enemy at home the way you fight an enemy abroad. You do certain things you can't do to an enemy at home. And we are the most fierce enemy that the white man has. We know him better than anybody else. We know where all of his nerve centers are. And in most cases, he's got us with uniforms on in key positions. That's right. All over the place. I mean, it's real crazy. He did this with the Viet Vietnamese and lost. And now he's doing it over with the Iraqis, and he will lose. But either way it goes, we can't lose. Though we have feelings for the Arab people that are now set upon by this beast. But we will have to settle our score with them later. Yes, right. 
and farther down the line. So brothers and sisters, again, if you are called for the war, make sure that you get some advice. Make sure that you do not put yourself in a position where you'll come back in a pine box. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If they really get into this thing, a lot of American soldiers are going to lose their lives. That's right. That's right. And you're not even an American, so you shouldn't be a soldier for America. That's right. For America. That's right. Saddam Hussein might let you come back home like Khomeini did, but he might not let you come back. So don't go over there counting on Saddam Hussein sending you back home saying that you're not the true American the way Khomeini did. Khomeini was merciful. He said these Negroes are deaf, dumb, and blind with these uniforms on. Send them back home and let's keep the white ones hostage because they're the real American. He has that kind of understanding. Brothers and sisters, in a few moments, we might take just one or two questions on the question dealing with the national. I want to teach a subject on that and the American flag. So hold that one, because that one will get me worked up. Yes, sir. And we want to get out of here in a few moments. Do you have any questions? Hand in the back. Well, in Islam, feel it, feel it. Y'all gotta understand this war, man. You go over, what they gonna do? You sign yourself to death, and I'm about to sign yourself to death. So I don't want to get into you know, a lot of people are gonna say that the country's being into a trap to death. You're talking about that war? Brother say, if you sign up, you sign yourself into death. That's right. That's absolutely right. <laughs> Let the white man fight his own war. Our war is right here. And he's our number one in. Right, right. Yes, sir. This is master computer in New York. You know anything about it? In New York. Master computer, number 66. Well, yes, sir. What what's the I just know that you know anything about it. We uh, do you have our uh, lecture on uh, 666, the mark of the beast? Yes, sir. Do you have that lecture from here? Check with them before leaving, and it will tie right in with it and everything. Are there any other questions? Sisters also. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm sorry. Have you been in Egypt? Don't you think the weather alone is a strike against it to begin with? That's right. That's right. Sisters said, in, in, in words, don't you think that the weather alone is a strike against the white man? Yes, right. Certainly he is, and much of it he has caused himself. He has messed up the earth so badly and interfered with the universal laws of God so much until many times it's cold when it should be hot, it's hot when it should be cold, it's dry when it should be wet, and it's wet or raining when it should be dry. He's messed up the ozone layer around the earth. Then we're talking about the whole issue of the rain, forest. I mean, he's just messed up everything, polluted the air that we have to breathe, polluted the water that we have to drink. He has messed up the balance in nature. And unless we put him in check, which means we have to hurry and get ourselves together, the fellow is on the brink of destroying the whole planet Earth. He's not a responsible guy at all. <laughs> we have to really put him in check. So the scripture also says, my sister, that God has stored up for that great battle and war. That he has stored up rain and snow and hail. And of course we hear later of earthquakes and other what the white man calls acts of God. That will be used to bring him down. So yes, the weather and all of it will be used in the destruction of the white man. Yes, ma'am. Well, they come so long. Do you think that uh, because there's a multiplication between our back and um, the way the African has stepped in it or continues to step in it, that it would cause uh, wonders and problems for both of us with economic ties over here? 
those of us that work. Very good question and very good point. Sister is saying because of the war that has been declared against the Muslims in the Gulf region, particular surrounding Iraq and Kuwait, do I feel or do we feel that similar to what happened with the Japanese when America went to war with Japan, that America set up internment camps or detention camps or concentration camps for the Japanese inside of America to make sure that the Japanese did not start a fifth column movement inside of America, do we feel that America, in words, would do the same thing with Muslims inside of America? Well, in my judgment, that possibility is stronger than That's just right. possible. That's right. That's right. He's probably planning something right. like that anyway. That's right. In fact, we have talked that there will come a day when we will have to go underground. That's right. The Quran speaks of a day when we will have to close our doors and go into our homes. That's right. But there will be an underground movement. We just have to make sure we've done everything that we're supposed to do before that day comes. That's right. But very definitely, sister, it should bring pressure to bear against Muslims inside of America with him fighting Muslims outside, especially the radical revolutionary Muslims. That's right. The Muslims who are reactionaries and who are more in line with America yeah. and under the thumb of America and the control of America, he will probably attempt to use them yeah. against the radical revolutionary and upright and righteous Muslims. That's right as you see him doing over there right now. He got all the reactionary Muslims together. Only Gaddafi That's right. stood up That's right. with Saddam Hussein openly That's right. against all the other Arabs. Gaddafi said, I'm with him. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And the people in Libya started signing up for a That's volunteer right. people's army That's right. to go and join their Arab brothers in Iraq. That's right. yeah. See, that's the way to do it. That's right. But when you're afraid of the enemy, and when your enemy attacks your brother or your sister, you back away the way they did when the enemy was attacking Minister Farrakhan. That's right. And all the Negro leaders that's ran right. scared of that's Minister right. Farrakhan. That's right. that's right. They did the same thing with that's Dr. Martin Luther King. That's right. That was the time when the Negro preachers wouldn't touch Dr. That's Martin Luther right. King. That's right. That's right. That's right. They, was, they said right. Dr. King was a troublemaker. That's right. That's right. They said we had this thing all worked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Until King, yeah. until Martin started causing trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin started causing trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got us all in trouble. Yeah. That's right. and so they wouldn't let Martin in the church. Right. <laughs> Martin couldn't preach from their pulpits. Right. Kept him out of the church. <laughs> you know I'm not lying. Right. They hated Martin with the kids. Right. Right. Because Martin, even in the fact that we don't agree with all of his philosophy and tactics, Martin Luther King was sincere. Right. Martin Luther King was dedicated. Right. Martin Luther King loved his people. Yes, he just judged the white man by his own good heart. Right. And you can't make that mistake with this devil. Right. But they hated Dr. King for standing up and challenging the white man. That's right. So these Negro preachers banned against Dr. King. Yes, they did. And the civil rights leaders, right. some of the key ones, were preachers and still are. Banned against Dr. King. That's right. So that's the way the Arabs are doing over there. And that's the way they'll get many of the Muslims to do inside of America to join with them against the Honorable Minister Louis Firefly, who's the strongest Muslim leader in America, the strongest black leader in America, the strongest leader in America, period, be it black or white, and the man who was born for this time. Can't we build a mass movement in New York around yes, the leadership yes, of Louis Farrakhan? Yes, we want to build a movement so awesome, 
until even the subways don't run unless we say so. You mistreat us and the subways stop. Everything stops. No subway driver would have a nerve to get on there and ride on the train. Everything stops. We gotta build that. That's right. We're at war. This is not just about white shirts and bow ties. This is not just about white dresses and head pieces and galays and wraps and beautiful colors. All oh, that's fine. This is serious. You're the most serious people around. That's right. It's true. And you're among some of the most serious in America or in the world that has the nerve to stand up and challenge the white man. That's right. He's awesome. But you have decided to stand up and challenge him. That's right. And stand with the God who has come to destroy him. That's right. That's right. You've decided that. That makes you the most dangerous. And that makes you public enemy number one. <laughs> public enemy number one. I think he probably will. And be it the will of Allah, I'll see him a few day, in a few days out of West. And I will ask him. And then however Allah guides him, I'm sure he will. And we need to get a tape from last Sunday at headquarters. In fact, we should get the tape from headquarters every week. That's right. That's right. That's right. Every week. So we don't lose touch with headquarters. That's right. That's right. Who would be responsible for that? Every week we should get the tape from headquarters. We'll find out the best way to do it. Yes, sir. But he spoke on the war in uh, with Iraq and uh, Kuwait and America lining up our forces and pulling together all of these other devils and from all around the world. It's, it's almost like with Hitler. Yes, sir. Very good. Sister Shala says she will work with making sure that she makes the proper contact probably with Sister Patricia Muhammad who I think handles the tapes and everything, to make sure we get it from headquarters every week. Right. Yes, but they lined up all of the allied nations against yes, Hitler. Now they're doing all of this against one little That's Saddam Hussein. Right. 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 And he's no fool. Right. I love his military yes, sir. Yes, sir. He got those thousands of hostages. Yes, sir. He say, come on with it. Right. He said, I'm going to put some of your blue-eyed people everywhere I think you're going to drop a bomb or strike. So when you hit, you kill it your own time. That's good military strategy. Actually, he has the white man in checkmate right now. They got to start a new game and take this game to another level. It looked pretty bad for him at first. He said, hey, I got something to bargain with. That's See, Bush made a big mistake. Bush committed himself and committed his troops before he made sure to secure the white American nationals who were trapped in Iraq and Kuwait. He should have made sure to secure his white American nationals first and then move behind that. But when he moved first, he provoked Saddam Hussein to then take his take his people that are in the country, white people, and hold them hostage. And then scatter them out to the major strategic positions. It's a good move. I love it. It's a good idea. When this devil move on us. Maybe the talk in the streets would be to take hostages, white folks hostages in every house. Yeah. Everybody have a everybody have a crack. Everybody have a crack. So we all got us a hostage. If you shoot, kick the door down and shoot in here. We got Operation Human Shield. Yeah. They're really not human. 
I'm a racial devil shit. Take a hostage, it might be the talk. I'm not suggesting that. It sounds like a good suggestion. I don't know where it came from. So you be looking at the closest one. I'm talking about when he moves on us to attack us. This is self-defense. Some of you just sit around, you look at me and say, what is he talking about? So why does he take these subjects? So why does he, why don't he just stick to the student enrollment and the actual facts? This thing is serious. I only said, don't be upset with me, I only said that it might be the talk on the streets that as Saddam Hussein took hostages in Iraq, that you might have to get your own too. When you might have to <laughs> White people be able to stop like you just jump in the car. <laughs> Make no mistake about it, old buddy. <laughs> you are my hostage. <laughs> and everyone should take one home with me. <laughs> but it's the only way. Yes, sir. If the brothers and sisters from Move would have had some white hostages in that, they wouldn't have opened fire on Move the way they did in Philadelphia. If the Black Panther Party would have had some white hostages in that, they wouldn't have opened fire on them the way they opened fire on them. This Saddam Hussein is giving us some good lessons. It's not coming from me. I'm just studying the way this thing is going. War is coming in the streets of the world. It is. We're going to have to go through the Red Sea. War, bloodshed, and revolution before Pharaoh Bush, Pharaoh Bush's army is drowned in the Red Sea here in America. And before we can go to the promised land. Yes, sir. Promised what? Land. Did they say promised sky? No, sir. Promised what? Land. And it's, heaven is in the what? Hereafter, right? Yes, Not the there. Right. But the here right. is called the promised land, not the promised sky. You got it? Yes, sir. Any more questions so we can... Let me get sister right here. I would like to know what happened to Jesse Barcon and Jesse W.R.L. If he was coming back on or not? Yes, ma'am. Well... We, uh, in sitting and going over it, going over our future plans, several changes are going to be made. I know you're going to be happy to hear the first one. We're going to move to a place where we have air conditioning. where we won't have to have the brothers and sisters on closed circuit in other rooms yes, and auditoriums. We can all be in the same auditorium. All right. We're going to move to a place that's not falling down. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the bathrooms are brand new and right. clean and ultra modern. Right. The rooms, everything is new and the surroundings all around us most pleasant for us to invite and bring our people right, out. Sir. We're moving next up. Okay. And we are also going to, in the process, attempt to move toward progress, further progress, to get the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan on WLIB. Yeah. But you'll support Minister Farrakhan on LIB, won't you? Yeah. You think New York needs to hear from him on LIB? Yeah.
So we are shifting from WWRL in the interest, well, right now it's a financial matter, and then it will be an even greater financial consideration, but we believe that other mosques or temples, mosques in the region, will assist us with our radio broadcast. So even though it will be more money, we just got to get someone, uh, hopefully today someone can be assigned, who will go to WWRL and get all of the specific information on WWRL, you know, how many wives, and what the range is, and what it, uh, you know, both of them, WWRL, and how many cities, it reaches and states, and they get the same on WLIB, and then we will sit and compare the two. But we actually want to be on LIB no matter what. Yes, sir. So there are moves where we are leveling off, and everything is going to cost more money. It will cost more money to be in the new building next door. Yes, sir. But we will get more of our people. We'll yes, be sir. more comfortable. We'll yes, be happier. Yes, everything will change yes, for us. Oh, these are two major steps that we're working on where LIB is concerned and moving the mosque next door. Yes, sir. Are there any other questions? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Well, the nation of Islam, under the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, will be out of here in a minute, has always taught the first step or the number one bonding step, and that is, of course, that we do not turn our babies over to the cow. And let Elsie nurse our baby. That we'd feel pretty bad if Elsie, the cow, brought her baby to us <laughs> for us to nurse her baby. So the nursing process of breastfeeding is a strong bonding process. It bonds mother and baby together and certain natural things happen that a bottle of milk just can't provide. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said and say that a sick mother's milk is better than a healthy cow's milk. That's what they say. In addition to that, there are other pre-birth bonding steps that can be taken. You should get his tape, which is an excellent series on how to give birth to a God. Where he talks about that whole process, spiritual and divine process, and what the mother must do, the future mother must do before the child comes to life to the light, I mean, and what kind of preparation. All of this, even once the life begins to grow inside of her, there's a bonding that can begin even then. And all of this, I hope we have that series here. If we don't, we can get it for you. How to give birth to a God. So the nation does address that, and I believe that series is also being transcribed into book form so that the sisters can have it in print as well as in audio and in video. Are there other questions? I saw a hand in here. So. Yes, ma'am. Let me get sister right here. Well, it was long. Sister says, how prepared is the Muslim woman in preparation for war? Is she trained and what else? Uh, for, to assist the brothers or the families. To assist, yes. Well, as the nation of Islam, and especially Mosque Number 7 here, is being revamped and rebuilt, 
and spirit and life being put back into us since the nation was destroyed in 1975, uh, all of these components would be a natural part of the FOI and the MGT teaching component as we grow and develop more. Sisters will, uh, of course, their classes will be expanded, uh, but now you have the basics and the essentials uh, already in place. Uh, but as we go further, and also in the FOI, certain basics and essentials are in place. But that has to be expanded on in both classes and further developed. That's military training, combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and canning, and storing of certain foods, and learning how to properly prepare during normal times as well as wartime foods and the like, how to fight disease and sickness from the kitchen and from the, uh, what do you call it, the pantry, which is the, the medicine shelf when you properly use it. All of these things are in place already, but they will be expanded on in both classes as we go along. And certain ones of you will come in and you will take the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan to a higher level when you come in. Where's the brother who had his hand up for a long time? Right there. Yes, sir. Well, thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. I see some new faces so much that they've gone to the Lord who died in the home, the Lord who died in the home, the Lord who died in the And I would just like to know, what do you mean the character I have to say about the old soldiers and sisters as well, about rebuilding this nation at the present time? Well, it says he sees many faces of those who soldiered before, brothers and sisters. What does Minister Farrakhan have to say about the old soldiers who, in words, struggled and served in the nation under the Honorable Elijah Muhammad directly before? Minister Farrakhan has great love. Where's the brother? Minister Farrakhan has great love for the brothers and sisters who struggled before. And when the brothers and sisters who are the, what the scriptures call the old seasoned veterans of many campaigns of war, when you begin to return and we put the old and the new together, then this nation will come up overnight. Your training, your experience, your expertise. When you begin to come back, you help us get it up overnight. So he loves you. He is a fit leader to receive you. Yes, sir. That's right. Because he was there then and he is here now. That's right. And because he was in both periods of our development, he is the best among us. That's right. And the most equipped yes. and prepared. Right. to receive the old as well as the new That's right. as something that Allah has put in his heart for both of us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any other hands? What are you saying? I'd like to know uh, if the nation be here or are they planning to uh, plan schools like the youth like it was once before. The reason why I ask that is that uh, right now I'm trying to come back to the nation. And I got a small young niece, she's 15 years old, and I brought her today, and uh, she don't, she didn't recognize in herself that she dressed like a Muslim sister. And she was 15 years old, and it's like, I see it developing in her. So I said, let me bring her to the nation while I'm trying to get myself together back in the nation. And uh, I want to know if the nation is planning or they have any process of the youth. Yes, sir. We will have the University of Islam and everything back in place. Yes, sir. Again, the key to the University of Islam being established is right out here. That's right. Some who are out there. Some of you have the skill and the ability already. We have the program and the uh, basic curriculum. We need to get the University of Islam started. And many of you are equipped and prepared to do that already. 
Oh, let's see. Let me get brothers here. Quickly, sir, let's get the questions there. Yes, sir, right here, in the front row. Yes, sir. My name is Lord. I'm sorry? What about me? I talked to him on the phone two nights ago. Brother Adam Abdul Hakim, he called me from prison. In fact, I've spoken to him over the past week or so, two or three times. Absolutely. 100%. Yes, sir. First of all, we take your support. I'd like to make a statement, Mr. Chair, that we shouldn't drop out this one thing. We need to have a little bit of time. We need to have a little bit of time. We need to have a little bit of time. We need to have a little bit of time. We need to have a little and the brother shouldn't be afraid to speak to this. This is on the job. I mean, I don't understand why. I just wanted to speak that statement. Absolutely correct. That's right. We shouldn't be afraid to speak to each other, come to each other's aid, and that's right. show the kind of familyhood that that's we right. should show. That's right. That's right. Wherever we are. That's, that's right. right. There are some sisters who do not wear the headpiece. They wear other things where, depending on where they work, they still maintain a certain modesty about right. themselves. But they wear different things depending on where they are at the time. So, of course, we understand that. Uh, are there any other questions? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get too hot. You know, they're going to get upset with me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The media, the white man's media coming down with America being this and being that. There ain't no real reason. What is the reason behind us being over there in the first place? What is like the manipulation of the media. We got a lot of young brothers doing that marine thing. And it ain't no thing. It ain't nothing happening there. So why, you know, what is the science behind the system being over there? You know, I know it's more, it's more, and all this other crap. They're getting a little upset with you, and I'll tell you why you hit them. They're upset because you kept, you said twice, our being over there. It's their being over there. They are over there because they want to rule and control perpetually the world. They are over there because if Saddam Hussein controls the oil in Iraq, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia, I believe he would control over 50% of the world's oil reserves. That's right. They are over there because the oil is the lifeblood of the white world. That's right. And they are over there also because they want to make sure that nothing happens to Israel, their baby over there. That's right. And it's a power play. You know, the white man goes everywhere, conquering everybody. He always did. Iran, I mean, Iran, Iraq, or Kuwait is no different than Grenada, than Africa, than uh, Japan. Then the world, 196,940,000 square miles of the planet Earth. He has his space exploration. He just got to go somewhere. Can you imagine a cracker going all the way to the moon? <laughs> just to put a rag on the moon, a red, white, and blue rag, stick the rag in a, on a pole and say, I left my rag up on the moon. But that's the kind of ego this fellow has. Right? So, brother, that's why he's over there. But we have no business over there. That's right. They are over there. That's right. Not we. Yes, sir. Salam, yes. Well, like, well, like, sir. Uh, you mentioned that um, during the Japanese war, they had held different uh, Japanese that was in America, concentration camps, prisons, whatever. Um, while the war is going on over there, you have a powerful organization, Jewish organization called the uh, JDL had this big strong guy called Air Ruby. Would he use this opportunity to capitalize on it and move against Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam as he's done in the past? We put so much fear in Air Ruby. <laughs> I don't know if Herb Ruby would even show his face. In fact, we're going to show an excerpt of that, hopefully. Yes, sir. We can get Brother. Uh, 
uh, get an introverted capital schedule tomorrow night with his permission, show an excerpt of uh, our direct confrontation with the Jews in, uh, in L.A. I wish we were trying to get some footage on our confrontation with the Klan when we made the Klan back down. Yeah. Pump the Klan out, right? <laughs> right? So, see, it's one thing to talk about things, but yes, direct eyeball to eyeball right. confrontation. That's yes, right. And when the Jew, Jewish Defense League yes. showed up at the Los Angeles Convention Center talking about death to Farrakhan, <laughs> many times if the brothers of Bishop one would say, oh, leave it alone. Yes. But I was there that day. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. some of the brothers that I knew were real roads. And we went straight out on them and drove them away from the uh, convention center. You see, one of the brothers, I mean, big black brother with me. Jew running off at the mouth, the brother smacked him. Bah! Get him to say nothing. I moved on your boy, Herb Rubin, That's right. straight in his face. That's right. Call for Minister Farrakhan's right. death to my face. That's right. That's right. That's right. As, uh, That's right. as, uh, That's right. as uh, 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 Professor X would say, sissy. <laughs> Call for Minister Farrakhan's death to our face and you'll die right here. Yes. This is a news report. These are all news clips. That's right. And um, we drove and said the JDL fled on foot, the news reporter said. We drove them away and then spoke to the media. They came and interviewed us to say Herb Rubin calls for Minister Farrakhan's death when we're not around. Yeah. But when we're around, yeah. I said, uh, Herb Rubin ran like a little sissy out here today. Right. <laughs> but it's all on the video. Then the news reporter closes out his report. He said, this is so and so, so and so. You know how crackers can do yeah. at the Los Angeles Convention Center. He said, if the Jewish Defense League intended to make a showing here today, <laughs> it was certainly muffled quickly by the group of Israel forces. confrontations with Bill Wilkinson, Imperial Grand Wizard or Grand Dragon. We ride them all. Don't make no difference. Yeah, that's, right. that's the kind of stuff we got to do in New York. We got to go to Howard Beach. Thousands of us roll in Howard Beach. Let a cracker run out on the sidewalk and say anything. We mock the sidewalk. Bernard gets in the ball. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to have some showdown. That's right. Otherwise, it's just hype. Yeah. You would think the Jewish defense, Herb Rubin had intimidated everybody with the Jewish defense league. That's right. They went to Jesse Jackson's headquarters in Los Angeles and beat on the walls with baseball bats yeah. and tied a live pig to his right. doorknob. And and intimidated all of his staff, and none of the men came out of Operation Push for Excel office. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> come up just talking about killing Mr. Right. 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 Come on. Right. I said to you, right. you right. See, we have to. <laughs> that's right. I love it, too. That's the way we got to be. it has got to be so many of us. Until we have to put some of our tallest ones around, so while we stomping whoever it is, the cameras can't pick up who it is that's stomping. And when the smoke clear, we step right over them and leave them there and pull over. Move out. That's right. But that's what we're looking for. We got to go and confront all of these lanes. Everywhere. That's right. You for that? Yes. Yeah. We're looking 
for those kind of black men. Come on, right. Right. not for that. Just come on and study right. with us. Come, we right. have to study and we right. 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 study. Come on and study. We got something for everybody. Right. And I want to be with the group that prays yes, and studies yes, and goes out yes, and throw down when it's time to throw down. And that will be a time to defend ourselves. us to come physical for physical. He expects us to come uh, this way or that way. But when we come from another plane or another plane, he's not able to deal with that. So you hassle him and harass him from this point. And when he attempts to cover that point, you harass him from another point. When he attempts in this angle, you've got to be able to move on all flanks. But wisdom is always necessary. But if you take one up in the bathroom right. and punch it in the mouth, call it big as well. The sister seems serious. We should get the bail money ready now. 
if you can use tact and wisdom, just understand that you're not so much compromising yourself. Stand up for your principles and all of that. But again, understand that you're working behind enemy lines. Right. Your objective is to go behind enemy lines and get something right. that will benefit you, right. your family, or you and your babies and your people, and then come back and put That's it to right. the best use. Rather than fighting so many little rather than fighting so many little battles until we lose the war. Yes, sir. But don't lose your edge. You know, sometimes you have to have little uh, skirmishes like that in order to stay in shape. But uh, use the best of wisdom in all time. Brothers and sisters, this is too hot to stay here all day. Uh, yes, sir. For Lake of Sorrento. Yes, sir. We're working on something now. We'll have to let you know more about it in the very near future. Brothers and sisters, I have to cut it off. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Just speaking of war, I just want to bring up Dr. Mother. That's another whole subject that would be so deep. I respect that. But I would ask that you hold it because there are so many who don't know about the subject. Only we, the Muslims, and those who have studied, and it would require me to go into a long or lengthy explanation in order to then answer your question. And then some of them think we're crazy anyway if I don't give enough understanding to it. So it's a subject that we're going to have to teach, just like on the flag, in order to go into it deeper. But it's a valid point. Later, if not today, later, then we can get around to it. But let's try some of it before you leave today. Brothers and sisters, can't take it. Go ahead. God, I want to say all thank you for allowing me to come here and I'm going 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 to come Brothers and sisters, how many of you here today for your first time? Let me see your black hand. I promise you we're working hard. We should go over the legal documents and everything at the end of next week and just a few more weeks before we can get out of here. But we've got to hurry and get the new unit put in. The whole it's a monstrous system of air and central air and heating unit that has to be put into next door for us. So we're going to be working very fast so that you'll be comfortable when you come. And all of the brothers and sisters who come every week but can't deal with this heat will be jam-packed to the rafters. I believe we can get as many as a thousand, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. How many of you today believe what you heard to be the truth and good for black people? Let me see your black hand. You believe it's the truth and good? Look at that hand. Look at that hand. Right. How many of you believe that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has given to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan the best program for black people? Let me see your hand. How many of you believe that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is the premier leader of the day and is the man of the hour and that we can best get out of this condition if we would unite behind his leadership, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Let me see your hand. All right. Man, let the church say amen. <laughs> Looks great. Those of you who would like to unite, can we pass? Would you hold your hands up? If you have not filled out one of these interest cards, would you hold your hands up right where you are and they'll pass them to you. Hold your hands up quickly so they can pass them. Sisters, some may not have taken out a card even if it's their fifth or sixth or seventh. Right. Okay, while we're doing that, let's make sure that everyone has a pencil or a pen 
to fill them up. We want, can you hear me? All men. How many registered FOI we have? All registered FOI. Are you with me? Yes, sir. There's a special emergency, crisis agenda, urgent, am I strong enough? Yes, sir. Urgent FOI meeting tomorrow night. Brother Captain William Muhammad and I will meet you here. Yes, sir. At 7.30 sharp. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That means you should be here at 6.30 or 7 o'clock right. in your seat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Call every registered FOI that you know. Now, how many will actually do that? Your word is bond. You will use your telephone and call every registered brother that you know with an X yes. to be here to this emergency meeting tomorrow night. How many of you will be here? How many of you will call at least 10 brothers to get them here? Word is bond. Yes, sir. Right. sir. Now, I'm going to ask you, don't lie to yourself. That's, That's right. right. Come on. Some should call 20 or 30 just in case Thank somebody you. whose hand yes, is up That's will not do it. Right. We want it packed in here yes, tomorrow sir. night, both sides. That's right, sir. Will you take it upon yourself to get all of your brothers out tomorrow yes, night? Sir. Yes, sir. Who will do that? Those who will do it front and center up front. Okay. As word is bought. Yes, sir. You'll call... Not just 10, you'll call everyone you know and then call some others and get some more numbers to have them here? Yes, sir! At least by 7 o'clock and in their seats? Yes, sir! Will we have a full FOI tomorrow night? Yes, sir! We have an emergency meeting. Sisters, will you help us get your husbands and brothers and, and close friends out? Yes, sir. That are registered Muslims, will you make sure they leave the house? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll keep them there. You got some powers, you know. You, know about you can keep them there. And brothers, you will struggle to do everything you can to get out? Yes, sir! But they've already said they're not going to try to keep you, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you to get out. Thank you very much, brothers. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. If we don't have what we should have, there's a possibility we might cancel FOI. You want to cancel tomorrow night? No, no, sir! So we should have it, right? Yes, yes, sir! Captain and I, where's the captain? Oh, that brother was, come on, what? Yes, Man! I said, where's the captain? He said, right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brothers, would you pass your cards to your immediate left? Sisters, would you pass your interest cards to your immediate right and the pencils? We have any visitors today that we should acknowledge and guests. Would you please stand? Visitors and guests who have not made a commitment. Where is Minister Abdul Haq Muhammad? The Imam. Is this a seat? Please. Oh, come up, brother. Come up, brother, please. Let's give our brother a hand. Very honored and very happy to see you. Say something, Brother Mark. It's up to you, sir. Come on, With the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. All praise belong to Allah, guardian of all the sustainer of the worlds, most gracious, most merciful. 
I greet my brothers and sisters in the greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum. All praise belong to Allah, God, and Allah, sustainer of the world's most gracious, most merciful. To the brothers and sisters of Al Islam, and to the minister, Minister Khalil, Khalid, Abdul Khalid, whom I especially came today to hear, and to all of my brothers and sisters in the nation of Islam, I'm very grateful to Allah the Most High for blessing us to share these few moments. And I'd like to say that the nation of Islam has certainly been an inspiration to me in my development under the leadership of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And when I came to the Nation of Islam a number of years ago, I have studied under Minister Louis Farrakhan here in New York in Harlem. And though I'm not an active member of the Nation of Islam, I am a Muslim. And we all know that once we have accepted the belief in Allah, the Most High, that brings us all into oneness. And regardless of where Muslims are throughout the world, many of us may remember the newspaper, the Muhammad Speaks newspaper, where the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had projected for us an image, a vision. And that vision were Muslims holding hands throughout the world. Do we remember that? Yes, sir. That unity of Muslims. There was a globe in between those hands. And there were Muslims from Africa, Muslims from America, stretching all over the world. The unity of Muslims. And that, I believe, every Muslim has an obligation to work towards that unity. And those are my comments today. I didn't come to make any comments. But I do want to express my love and appreciation for the interest and the concern of our people throughout the world and for the growing and the development of our Islamic consciousness and it is through that consciousness and awareness where the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said that he said this is the Quran he says when you want to talk to Allah read the Quran right. Right. some of us remember that yes. he said when you want to talk to Allah read the Quran and there's no other book that he gave us he said to secure this book to put it on the highest shelf no other book did he tell us to put it on the highest shelf. And so this is the guide for us as Muslims throughout the world. And we know that we all are growing. All of us are growing. None of us are exempt. But Elijah Muhammad gave us the vision. And he says, what I'm teaching you is only a wake-up message. But one day you will come into the full truth. And he has given us the light. And he has given us the pure book. And this is the guide for all humanity. And so I extend my hand and my heart, as I've always done, to my brothers and sisters who are Muslim throughout the world. And I greet you in the greetings of peace and unity. Assalamu alaikum. subject for one of my lectures in the very near future which will deal with the subject the wake up message of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and in that lecture we want to explore this book the Holy Quran explore the Old Testament and the New Testament of the Bible explore Al-Islam and in order to do that we will have to go into the ancient history of the black man and black woman that predates 1400 years ago predates Mecca Arabia predates Medina and with no disrespect predates Prophet Muhammad may peace be upon him and find out where the principles that are in this book that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed where these principles can be found greatest manifested in the lives of the people of the earth 
and what role Africa plays where this book is concerned. What role Africa plays in the principles of all of the world's major religions, which means what role does the black woman and the black man play? And why is our focus still a focus that deals with humanity? Yes, but the root of humanity, the black man and black woman. But I love that subject, the wake up message of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So I'm looking forward to working on that one. And I wish Brother Imam that we, on that day, could do something in unity. Maybe have your number and if you would, open for us and make dua and open in prayer for us and we share the rostrum that day in a brotherly way. I felt very good. I don't know the Imam, but just the spirit from those who know you uh, was comforting for me that we could be together on that day depending, inshallah, depending on your schedule. But uh, we will try to exchange and make a contact. Brothers and sisters, at this time we need to raise some money. Is that all right? Yes, sir. We need to have our charity period and our donation period at this time. How much do you think we can raise today? Somebody give me a goal. One brother said a thousand. Somebody said five dollars. How does she get five thousand? What's the goal today? One thousand, two thousand, or three thousand? Two thousand? What is it, sir? Is that what it should be, sir? Brother says it should be three thousand. Well, let's go for two, and we'll probably make that. Can we go for two? Yes, sir. Let's go for two. We're going to have to. We have much of the money that we need to make the move next door. We're going to need more money to make that move and to into the new building and to get other things that will be required. Who will start it off with the first thousand dollars since we're going to raise two? The first thousand dollars or the first five hundred dollars. How many hundreds do we have? For the minister, James 16X, $100. We need 19 more. 19. It reminds me, today is my daughter's birthday. She's 19 years old. We need 19 more, hundreds. Let's do it quickly so that we can... Where are the other hundreds? We need 19 more hundred dollars. 19 more. Just can be done quickly. Just 19 of us stand and give a hundred. It's very simple, huh? Or it can be 200 or 3 or the other 100. No, where are the other 100? I don't mean to say all the other. Where are the 50s today? It's the 50 crowd. Oh, okay. This starts a chain reaction. Minister Kevin Muhammad. Uh, Brother Andrew Wichet. Brother Andrew X, who is beginning in the ministry with us also, 50 and 50, $100. Give him a hand. 50s and hundreds. Sisters? All right. Sister, I talk to her all the time in the morning. Please give me your name again. Sister Coretta. $25, Sister Coretta. Give Sister Coretta a hand. Fifties, hundreds. Yes, sir. Fifty dollars, sir. Brother Arthur X. Brother Arthur X. Fifty dollars. Give Brother Arthur. 
Oh, Sister Coretta, that was your whole row? Hey, that row is in unity. Row number three was $25 with Sister Coretta. And that was Brother Arthur with $50. Fifties, hundreds. You'll really be glad we move into the air-conditioned building, eh? Right? We're going to make it so cold over there, you have to get your coat. In July, you have to have your coat on. But we'll try to have it just right. We don't want it so you'll have to wear your coat in the... Summertime and so hot until you have to take it off in the wintertime. You want to have it proper under the proper conditions at both times of the year, the two major times of the year. $25 from row number two. Get row number two ahead. Let me know what it is, huh? Fifty dollars, brother Malachi. Fifty dollars, brother Malachi. Here, brother Malachi. Here. Fifty dollars. Row number two, twenty-five dollars on the brother's side. Yolanda. 
Yes, I see you love your hands. Put it out. Sister, where's your look alike dog? <laughs> I recognize your face. Oh, Here's this powerful black man. Give him a hand. I hate to do you like that every time you come. But we're always honored to have you and happy to be happy. Because so many of our brothers and sisters who achieve some distinction in the world will not stand up for their people and will not stand with the leader of the day, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. But Brother Mark is not that kind of black man. Brother Stephen 3X, $100. Brother Stephen 3X, $100. Yes, ma'am. How much? $30 from this row right here. $30. Eighty-six? Yeah. $86 from the MGT here. And the front row here and the front row here. Let's go on and make it a, a thousand and go over that first thousand mark. Twenty dollars, brother Kurt. Brother Kurt, twenty dollars, good brother Kurt and that. Praise the Lord. Let's do it as quickly as we can, but, we, we, but it must be done. That's not it, is it? Where are the other hundreds and fifties? Is that right? Yes, sir. Brothers say we're getting it. Yes, sir. Right, brother. Apparently, he knows something that we really don't know. <laughs> Look that good from up here where I am. <laughs> but I certainly hope it looks better for your fans. Sister, you're a warrior. I mean. A lot of other warriors like that. You press the wrong button over here. They let you know about it too, I'm sure. But we are very happy to see that spirit. Thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars in the row right there. Fifties, hundreds, thirties. How much is that, sis? Eight seventy-four. Brother Minister Muhammad Abdullah. Twenty-five dollars. Give him a hand. Makes it nine hundred. Eight ninety-nine. Okay. Ten dollars from Brother James Thirty X. Thank you, sir. Thank all of you for your contribution. Twenty from Brother David Three. Twenty from Brother David Three X. Give Brother David three a hand. Brother Kurt, two hundred dollars more from FOI. Two hundred dollars more from the FOI. Not Brother Johnny Lee. How much, Brother Johnny Lee? One hundred dollars, Brother Johnny Lee. Yeah. Let's keep rolling.
How much, sister? 1229. We're moving. Is that it, brother? Is that what you were smiling about over there? What's brother's name? Was that all? That's what you were smiling about? Yes, sir. Oh, oh praise the to tell It's good to have a man out there on point who can, when it looks bad for you, who can, who can bring news from the front line. Is that it? Twelve, we're about eight short of the goal that was set. Right? Twenty dollars from brother Carl. Twenty dollars from brother Carl. You see, I want it to be useful. Right? 